Hey guys, today I'm starting a new two-part series on how to make your own Minecraft Bedrock Jetpack hacks. This hack allows you to fly in the direction you're facing while bypassing most server-side anti-cheats. In this video, we will be finding the pointers we need to make this hack. Okay, so first you're going to want to start Minecraft and Cheat Engine. And you're going to want to attach Cheat Engine to Minecraft, so click this, hit the Processes tab, and open minecraft.windows.exe. And now we're going to want to go into a world. And we're going to scan for our Y coordinate, and we're doing this so we can find our Y velocity, which we will need in order to create our jetpack hack. So if you look in the top left here, my Y coordinate is 3. So we're going to do a float scan for 3, and make sure the simple values only is checked. And now we're going to come over here and look in the top left of our Minecraft window again, and now it says 4, so I'm going to do a scan for 4. And I'm going to jump up to 5, and do a scan for 5. After this, you should have a few values left, and now we're going to have to find out which one of these is the correct Y value. So I'm going to freeze one at a time until my jump becomes weird. I'm going to freeze this, I'm going to try to jump, and it kind of moves me up and down. It's trying to teleport me back down. So that's how I know this is the right value. I'm going to delete the other two. And now I'm going to right click this and hit pointer scan for this address. And change the max level down from 7 to 5 so it's faster. And make sure the max offsets per node box is unchecked. Now we're going to need to press OK. And name our file something. I'm going to name it vid. And now we have to wait for this scan to finish. It can take up to an hour on some computers. Uh, most of the time it doesn't take longer than 5 minutes though. Okay, so we're back and my scan has finished. It took about 2 minutes. So what you're going to want to do now is make sure you keep this window open and you're going to want to restart Minecraft. And after you do that, you're going to want to reattach Cheat Engine to Minecraft. So just click this again and select minecraft.windows.exe and go back into a world again and scan for your Y position. Okay, so we found the Y position again, so we can double click this and copy the address. Come back over here to the pointer scanner, click pointer scanner, and hit rescan memory, and we're going to want to paste the address in here. And check this repeat rescan until stopped box, and press OK. And don't leave the game, and just kind of move around a bit. And after this has run for like maybe 10 15 seconds, you can press the stop rescan the button in the top of the window, right over here. And you'll see that we have only 4,000 pointers left, which means we're really close, and a lot of these pointers will probably work. So I'm gonna add one of these to the list. I'm gonna select this one, I'm gonna double click it, and it gets added to the list. Now we can delete the other addresses, and if we right click over here, we can press browse this memory region and make sure our display type is set to float. And here we're going to want to find our y velocity. It's slightly below zero when you're standing on the ground. It's positive when you're moving up and it's negative when you're moving down. So I'm going to start flying up and I'm going to want to watch these values that turn red. So if I start flying up, you can see the values that turn red. Those are the ones that are changing. So if you look here, this is our Y velocity since it's slightly below zero when we're on the ground. It's positive when we're moving up and it's negative when we're moving down. So instead of adding this to the address list, we can just click this and we're going to want to move the upper offset of this until we get to the Y velocity. So I'm just going to keep clicking this. And here we're at the Y velocity. I can press OK, and we can find the X and Z velocities very easily because if we come in here, the X is the one right before it and the Z is the one right after it. So we can copy this and we can paste it. And for the X, we can adjust the last pointer offset by negative four. And if we copy this and paste it again, we can adjust the last one by four. If we drag the Y to the middle, we 
can then name these in order. Now restart the game, join the world, and just make sure the pointers still work. Okay, so now that we have our velocity pointers, we're gonna have to scan for the direction we're facing. So if we come over here, we can teleport ourselves somewhere and type this in and make sure the x and y location is zero. And after we teleport ourselves, we're gonna have to do a scan for negative pi. It can be just an approximate value and we'll find a few of these values and once you rotate your head to the right of it, you'll find one that changes. This is the right one list and now we just have to right click it and pointer scan and we're gonna do the same thing we did for the y coordinate okay so we have our pointer to our x rotation now we can just copy it and then paste it and move the last pointer offset by four and now we'll have our y rotation and we now have all of the pointers that we need to start making our jetpack hack, and uh, we'll start coding in the next episode, and yeah.